Morning guys, currently a Tuesday morning. Welcome back to the channel. Now, something a little bit different today. I went out Sunday and I went out turbot fishing and I did a little bit of shore fishing with Mr. Tolala. Now, the problem was there was a lot of fog on Sunday and there wasn't a lot of fish. And also, we didn't really have much in the evening. Well, Tolala did, but I didn't. So, uh, what we're gonna do guys is, I've made this video and I've done it so you've got like a part one, part two. So part one, we're gonna be out turbot fishing on my mate's boat, part two, we're going to be uh, shore fishing down St. Pete Port Harbour, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's get straight to it. Let's not mock around. And hopefully you enjoy this video, guys. If you do, please hit that like button. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of this, guys. Let's get straight to the video. Hi right, guys, it's Danny from Glorious Fishing. It's currently Sunday morning and we're going out turbot fishing now. I missed the gate. Unfortunately, I've got no oil on my boat. So I rung my mate Matt up and he said, you're more than welcome to come out on the boat. Guys, we arrived up Bank de Lagodin. We've got one, two, three rods out, and this is some of the bait we've already got a load of sand eels and mackerel. So that's prime bait for turbot, and we've also got some frozen pelt which I've brought up as well, guys. So sorry I can't show you much. Sorry I couldn't show you much of the trip up, but unfortunately, we're in a dense fog at the moment. So yeah, got the rods down. Hopefully, we can bring you a few turbot. So, guys, got one, two, three rods out. Um, We've had a couple of bites, uh, the baits keep coming up mangled. Just give you a run through of the baits that we got. Like I said, there's the mackerel and the sand eels that we caught earlier. I've got some pelting here, which I've just flappered, guys. Literally just a flap of pelting. That is a prime turbot bait. We've just got strips of mackerel. We've got like a mackerel fillet with a little slice down the middle for a little bit of attraction for the turbot. And then we've got our launches, which we both flappered. Oh, Matt's got a fish on, I think, guys. So stay tuned, hopefully. This is a fish. Get on, baby. So, guys, Matt's got a fish on, and he's never had a turbot yet. And I guarantee you, this is a turbot. Just watch yourself. Oh, I'm just getting the net ready, guys. We're hooked into the... Uh... There we are. This is a turbot, Matt, for sure. I can hope so, mate. Right. I'd be surprised if it ain't. Beautiful bend on the rod. Fantastic bend on the rod. This is what we're after, guys. This is what we paid all this time for. I can see a bead. Please be a turbot. It's a turbot. It's a turbot. Matt's first turbot, and it's not a bad one. Come in. And we're in, guys. In. Four or five pound turbot there, straight in. Happy Look mate. at that. Absolute beauty of a turbot. Check that out, guys. That's what we come after. That's about a five, six pound turbot that all day long. Check that out. Oh, don't worry about the rod. Check that out. A flappered sand eel. My prime bait that. Look at that. Straight in the bottom of the lip, guys. Check that for a hookup. That's a fantastic turbot. That certainly made the day now, guys. You happy with that, chap? I'm well happy, mate. Oh, Long time coming. We'll have to block that out. Anyway, guys. <laughs> Let's get this off the hook and we'll give you a better shot. So guys, there's Matt with his fish. He says he's been coming up the banks all year and he ain't had one yet. And look at that. Beautiful big power paddle tail on it. Fantastic fish that, mate. You're happy with that, yeah, eh? Well happy, mate. Oh, well, that certainly made the trip, guys. So what we're going to do is go back up and hopefully even get a few more. So guys, got the rod out. As always, we're using the Ugly Stick GX2s up here. They're a 20 to 30 pound class rod. Absolutely fantastic rod. I wouldn't use anything different. And as always, 
we've got the pen scroll 20s on now they're loaded with 40 pound mono and in my eyes these are the best reels you can get for using on the boat it's probably one of the best rod and reel combos that i know guys so uh fine for turbot fine for taupe haven't tried it for bluefin yet but hey probably get one anyway i'll give you a glimpse of this turbot that we had it's a beauty guys that's the turbot matt had the way you tell a turbot is they're predominantly diamond shaped where a brill is more oval uh, this is more of a diamond shape as you can see here and the mouth that you see on here guys absolutely huge mouth just engulfs absolutely anything that comes past it little um razor sharp teeth there not very big but yeah eyes at the top there for seeing on the bottom obviously when they're on the bottom and yeah beautiful flat fish lovely camouflage there and on the underneath as you can see a brilliant white so matt's happy with that he's certainly gonna have a nice tea so we've got the rods out and hopefully we can get you a few more guys hopefully we can get that brillo willow so guys matt's in again lovely bend on the rod might be a dog i reckon it's a dog it's there ain't no tide but we'll soon find out nice bend just gonna have a look here beautiful bend on the rod it's absolutely flatter at the moment guys sorry about the fog i can't really give you a glimpse of any landmarks or anything like that and it's a dogfish it is a dogfish there it is guys pides drop right off and that's what we get and we don't want these guys bob's into a fish as well looks like i'm the only one not catching any fish i reckon it's a dog <laughs> Nice bend in the rod. We've got no tide whatsoever. Unless it's a ray, guys. It's coming up a bit too easy for a ray, I reckon. A bit too easy for a ray. We've literally got 0.0. And it's a dog. Oh, check that out. That has got pot bait written all over it. Check that out for a cop. Right, we're going to get that off the hook. Time to start making all the way in. Guys, boys are off. Another successful fishing trip. At least yeah. we've got a turbo wervo, baby. Turbo, nice one. Catch you later, eh? Cheers for taking me out, Matt. No See ya, chat. So there we are, guys. That was another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Unfortunately, there's no um, video of the scenery and stuff like that because it is foggy as anything, guys. We couldn't see anything coming back. Absolutely nothing. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. But I hope you enjoyed it, guys. It was a lovely video. I really enjoyed that trip out with Matt. So it was great going out with Matt and Bob. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you on the next adventure. It's in glorious fishing, baby. See you next time. So, guys, that was part one of the fishing session. That was out on the boat on Sunday. Now here comes part two, fishing with Tolala. I hope you enjoy it, guys. Let's get to it. All right, guys, welcome to another episode right. of Inglorious Fishing. It's currently Sunday afternoon. We're down at the Arbor. We're with Mr. Tolala, Mr. Paul Leal. And we're down here to target some uh, bream, bass, and whatever else wants to jump on the hook now. Hopefully a red bullet. Hopefully a red bullet. Now, Mr. Tolala here, he's already had a fantastic bite, which sent his rod screaming. But unfortunately, he got it three quarters of the way up, and then it came off. And uh, they're catching some big, thin-lipped mudder here at the moment. Some big six, seven pounders. So. Uh, give you a glimpse of them anyway if i can in a bit and uh yeah we're gonna get the rods out paul's already got his out and uh hopefully we can get you a few fish guys so, on it and a great day for it you know it so uh hit that subscribe button guys make sure you hit the like button and let's get to it let's get these fish so guys i've just arrived down here there's condor liberation that's the new fast ferry from condor uh that brings you all the way from pool and uh takes you to st marlo and stuff like that that's Castle Corner in the background. We're down at St. Peterport Harbour. This is the main harbour of Guernsey. There's the Sark shipping boats and the Hearn boat. And you've got the new Sark boat there and stuff like that. Paul's rods are out. The lifeboat's over there. Inshore lifeboat. The ambulance boat. Paul's getting a bite on this rod here. 
just have a little nibble on this yeah, rod here, Paul. So uh, yeah, Paul's got a float out, two bottom rods, guys. I'm gonna get my bottom rods out here. Let's get fishing. So guys, here's the fin lips that they're catching. Absolute beasts these are. Check the size of these out. They are absolute monsters. They're that heavy, they're struggling to get them out. Look at that. Look at that for a fish. That's an absolute beast. Absolute beast of a fish. I bet they go well, chaps. Huh? Yeah. Never caught one of them, guys. Wouldn't mind catching one. Anyway, get back to the fishing. So, guys, pulls fish on, and bream. it's a bream. Look at that. Lovely bream on the float there, guys. Beautiful. Oh, it's just come off. It literally just come off and swam back down. I don't know if I got that on camera. <laughs> got it. Oh, well. Might have to set up a float rod myself, Paul. Oh, God, Paul's into another fish. We are just setting up the float rod and we don't know what he got here. Maybe fell hooked. What sure is, what this is, it's staying deep, isn't it? It's a nice bream. Oh, that is a nice black bream. Check that out, guys. That is a fine fish, that. That's a beauty of a black bream. Look at the colours on it. Beautiful, mate. Good catch. Cheers, mate. So, guys, Paul again just had a couple of knocks on his rod, and we thought, oh, it's a crab or something like that. And check that out. A beautiful little coochie's bream. One of the smallest coochie's bream I've ever seen, that, guys. That's a fantastic looking fish. Perfect. Beautiful little fish, that, Paul. Yeah. Get nice that back. Fish. Lovely. Gonna get that back, guys. We're not having much luck here. Um, a lot of crab bites and lots of little finicky bites. Now, we're not really getting a lot, like I said, so I don't know how long we're going to stay here, but we'll try and persist, get a few more fish. But if not, then so be it. So, guys, I was just packing up my rod. Paul's just reeled in his rod, and check that out for a tiny red mullet. That is absolutely tiny, guys. These are a lovely fish, these. These are bottom-feeding fish, predominantly. They feed on worms, mostly. We normally get them on... Uh, Ragworm, logworm, that sort of thing. You had it on logworm, eh? Yeah. So that's a beautiful little fish, that, guys. Fantastic little fish. So we're going to get that back. And, uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some more. I want it start. Oh, yeah. So, guys, that's another episode of Inglorious Fishing. Unfortunately, not a lot of fish. Well, Paul's had a lot of fish. He's had a red mullet. He's had a coochies. He's had a black bream. And a drop-off. And a drop-off of whatever that was earlier on. I've had nothing, as usual. Complete waste of time. But all in all, it's been a horribly enjoyable evening. Some good company. So uh, night. it was good to see some fish come up. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. So um, if you like the channel, guys, like and subscribe. There's going to be plenty more. You'll probably catch Tolala on the next one as well. And we'll see you next time, guys. It's a glorious fishing. See you next time, guys. See ya.